So for instance, the first thing we do, guys, is remember, this is our divisor. We are dis assuming that this is going to be a factor. right? We assume that's a factor. So if that's a factor, well, since that factor is to the raised to the first power, it's linear. So I can use synthetic division. So now we can go ahead and identify what the 0 is. Oops. So the 0 is going to be, um, that's your factor, 3x minus 1 equals 0, plus 1 plus 1, 3x equals 1, divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 1 third. Right? Does everybody follow me? We always use the 0 with our synthetic division. So now I take 1 third. I'll make myself a nice little box. And then I take the right coefficients. I have 3, 2, 2, or 3, negative 2. And I have everything in standard form, correct? So I don't need to include any zeros for any missing points. We're good with that? OK. First one is always the easiest, right? I'm surprised I'm still having people that aren't even doing the first step. Just bring it down. It's the easiest one to do. OK. <clears throat> then you multiply. Multiply on your diagonal. 3 times 1 third is 1. Negative 1 plus negative, sorry, negative 2 plus 1 is, because you add on your vertical, right? So you add on negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 1 third is a negative 1 third. So you multiply on your diagonal. So that becomes a negative 1 third. Add on the vertical. So ladies and gentlemen, what is 2? What is 2 minus 1 third? Well, first of all, you cannot subtract a whole number from a fraction unless the denominators are exactly the same. So first thing I need to do is I need to get common denominators. So instead of writing 2, I need to rewrite 2 in terms of a denominator of 3. So what I could do is multiply by 3 over 3. So therefore, I now have a common denominator. Do you guys agree with me that 6 thirds is the same thing as 2? Yeah. Yes. But now it's broken down into three, into three pieces, right? So you have six, six of them, but they're broken down into thirds. So now you can easily subtract a third. So 6 thirds minus fi uh, 1 third is now going to be 5 thirds. Then we multiply diagonally. 5 thirds times 1 third. And if you say cross multiplication, I am going to fail. Just kidding. So when you multiply, multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. 5 times 1 is 5. 3 times 3 is 9. OK? So now, my last step I need to do is I need to add 1 plus 5 ninths. Well, guys, is 1 and 5 ninths, do they have the same denominator, same terms? No. But would, it be, would you guys agree with me that 1 is equivalent to 9 over 9? So why don't I just write this as 9 over 9? Now, can I add the numerators? Yeah. Yes. So my final answer, or my remainder, is 14 over 9. So is this actually a factor? Does this factor actually evenly divide into that? No, no it doesn't. However, can I still write the quotient? Yeah. Yes. Here's my remainder, constant, linear, quadratic. And just remember, um, uh, just remember here, we can always write this as my quotient is 3x squared minus x plus 5 thirds plus 14 over 9 divided by your divisor, which is 3x minus 1. Now, I'm not going to go into some ways we could simplify this, but we could definitely go ahead and um, what we would do is multiply by the reciprocal. We could simplify this a little bit further. But for right now, to keep time short, um, I, you can still write the answer 
It's just not a factor because it does not evenly divide because the zero is there. But guys, fraction operations, these, shouldn't, these do not go away. So don't forget these. They're going to always be coming back, OK? Unfortunately to you.